Hey guys, it's Nate, and this is the third time I've recorded this because Cam Studio is just dying on me. But I'm gonna soldier through this, try to do this video real quick. And what I wanted to show you guys in this video was this Create tab over here. You can access it through Game Object as well in Create Other. I wanted to show you all the things you can create in this Create tab, starting with the plane. The plane is basically just sort of a flat plane you can place things on. Pretty simple, not much to it. You can also add all sorts of shapes, such as a, a cube. You can add a cylinder. You can add a sphere. You can add a capsule. All those sort of things. I'm not going to add all of those in the in the interest of time. Now let's move on to the lights. You can't add area lights because we don't have Unity Pro. But if you have Unity Pro, you can have area lights. But I'm not going to cover those because they're not a part of the free version of Unity. The other things you can add are spotlights, which is like you can see a spotlight sort of just there, kind of making a light. You can also add a point light, which is like a light bulb. As you can see, its, it's picture here is a light bulb. So the picture is indicative of what the kind of light is. So this is a point light. And the last light we have is a directional light. And this is just a huge sunlight kind of ray of light that's so bright that it just washes out the level in, in the whatever color it is. So that is your directional light. We're going to delete that just to keep the level looking, I guess, relatively pretty. <laughs> We're going to add now this cloth. Now this cloth looks just like the plane, doesn't it? But you'll see what it does when we put it on top of this box. Let's make sure it's in position. Let's make sure it's in position. Stay on target. Stay on target. Okay. Now watch what the cloth does. It just drapes itself around the box as a cloth would do. Now of course it's no it's no real cloth. Of course you could see the edges of the box were glitching through it, but that's because this is a virtual environment and not a real environment. Now you can also create an audio reverb zone. Now this is very important or very useful if you're creating a level with a lot of sound. Now say you have a waterfall in the middle of this. This first zone is the zone where you just hear the waterfall full force. Out here is where it sort of fades in. So just think about it this way. If you're in the woods and you just walk and walk and walk and all of a sudden you hear running water and that's sort of this zone out here and you keep going forward keep trying to just keep following your ears and you know, it starts getting louder it starts getting louder and all of a sudden you just see the waterfall and it's crashing down and that's basically what this zone is so I hope that explains it well besides that there's also a ragdoll which would essentially be sort of like when you die in Call of Duty how you just flop on the ground you know it would just be like if we put a model if we put a model around here in the sky, he would drop and just kind of smack himself on the ground. Now, aside from that, there's also a tree you can add, which will help me demonstrate my next point. Now, this tree, it might give you a little bit of trouble if you have not downloaded any, any of the assets or this tree yet. And it'll ask you this thing, and you just press OK. And then you can have this tree with no leaves, because, like I said, we have no assets. But what that will do is allow us to show or allow me to show you how the wind zone works. Now the wind zone, we're going to just use it to create a hurricane or a or tornado, I suppose. And so switch the wind zone to spherical and change every one of these things to 20 just so we can have some crazy wind. Now you see the tree is already starting to bend. In real life, this tree would probably break under the this wind force, but we didn't set any parameters for it to break. We also didn't, it's also not real life. so. This, this tree is not going to break, but as you can see, it's going insane. It is going crazy. And that's because of the wind. <laughs> okay, so aside from all these things I just said, there's also these, these things called GUI text, GUI texture, 3D text, camera, and particle system. Now, camera just adds another camera. Big whoop. Let's delete that. Um, particle system adds a little, you know, flicker of whatever. This could be fire, this could be fireworks, it could be whatever you want it to be, but you'd have to design it yourself. Now, we don't have time for that, and you guys aren't ready for that, so we're just going to leave this here as its white ball standard effect, and we'll leave that alone. Now you can see it's not moving, that's just to save processing power, 
and to not not make the engine crash but when you press play as you can see it'll work now aside from that we're gonna add we are going to add a GUI text and a GUI texture and a 3d text so let me let me just uh, show you the difference between all these three things this this GUI texture is basically meant to go behind the text now the GUI texture for unity is just this unity watermark thing this isn't really what you traditionally use you might use an opaque black or or something else so I'm just gonna make this as opaque black as I can I'm gonna try to position it right behind the GUI text so see now you can see GUI text a little more clearly now the difference between the GUI text and the 3D text is watch this if I move the camera now watch the bottom screen here the GUI text will move with the camera whereas the 3D text will not so the 3D text is like it says 3D text in the world and the GUI text is just text you read on screen that moves with the character you can also toggle GUI text to go off and on depending on where you are sort of like a narration and that's about it for this video I've shown you guys everything there is in the create tab I've shown you guys the the bare minimum the basics of what's in there if you guys want to play around with all these things you can try that out and in the next video I will go over what is in the game objects tab that will help you or or that will allow you to manipulate these items to do some interesting things so until then see you guys Welcome, punch!